welcome you to fly tie night tonight. I'm Brandon Moon with Leland Fly Fishing. Tonight we're going to tie up a wired bodied soft hackle. The weight's going to come from the wire on the body, so it's not going to be a super heavy fly, but this is going to be a great traditional soft hackle pattern to be fished <laughs> traditionally on a swing, drop it off of a dry fly, or fish it off of an anchored weighted nymph on a separate column. This pattern is going to be effective in any of these scenarios. Um, I'll even, I'd even fish two of these with one dropped off of the other, maybe different colors or, or just changing up a few things. So we're going to tie this tonight for you and give you a new technique on wrapping wire. But before we do that, we want to invite you to make sure you like your favorite videos leave us a comment, say hi or drop us a question. We'd love to answer the questions and say hi. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell to receive future notifications of videos in the future. With that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Tying this on an ML053. This is a 2X strong, 1X short in a size 14. I like the 1X short when I'm tying these soft hackles. They don't take quite as long bodies. You don't want them to be super long. They're generally a little shorter, so I tie them on the short shank. The 2X long or 2X strong gives me a little bit heavier gauge wire as well. So we'll go ahead and get started with that tonight. Okay. Now that we've got the hook in the vise, we're going to go ahead we're using fluorescent orange 12 aught classic wax thread from Semperfly. Okay, we're going to put that on a Stone Foe Elite bobbin. This is a disc drag bobbin, tension control. It's got great handles on there to help give you comfort and control when wrapping and tying this fly. So we're going to go ahead and start this thread just behind the hook eye there. We're going to wrap it rearward roughly uh, to about that three-quarter length on the hook shank. Trim that out. Okay, we're going to be tying this with two different colors of wire. Okay, the first color is going to be deep sea blue in a 0.2 millimeter from Semperfly. Okay, we're going to tie this wire in on the top of the hook shank will give a little more detail as to why in a minute. Let's straighten that wire out just a little bit. I'm going to wrap this with a loose wrap on the first couple wraps. I'm going to pull that wire rearward just a little bit. I don't want it up there in the hook eye. I don't want to crowd it up in there. There we go, we got it pulled in there. Okay, second color is going to be Semperfly's purple in the 0.2 millimeter. Okay. We're going to tie this one in on the side of the hook shank. Okay, and we'll explain why we're tying this one in on the side. Again, I don't want I want this on the side of the hook, but I don't want it up into that eye. So I'm going to wrap this all the way back to where that three quarter mark is. Now I'm just going to Tie off a half, half hitch here. And this is so that I can utilize the rotary feature on my vise. So top wire is the first one that's going to go and be wrapped. So I'm going to pull that one and start wrapping it. Now I'm going to pull the purple wire. I'm going to pull it right around that edge and that's going to keep the the blue wire 
on the inside, okay, and the purple wire on the outside. Give it a good couple wraps. Okay, we'll make sure push those up. Now that we've got that started, we're going to start wrapping with the rotary feature going rearward. You'll see why I want the blue wire in the inside closest to the hook eye on this pattern as we get here in just a second. Okay, so we're just going to wrap this rearward okay back here to the the bend of the hook now I'm just gonna take in helicopter that first color of wire off now I'm going to take and continue wrapping this other wire, the purple wire, forward, creating a nice segmented rib on this fly. Just a cool look for a wire body to have that segmented rib so we're gonna helicopter that one off as well okay now I'm gonna take we're gonna do our thorax so I'm just gonna wrap my thread back here to that point I'm gonna put a little bit of dubbing wax on there okay I prefer wonder wax okay this is what we like to use. For the dubbing on this, we're going to be using Vicuna dubbing. Okay, I'm going to do the UV black. Okay, so I'm going to take a nice small little pinch of that. I don't need a whole lot, so there's there's my pinch. But I'm not going to put this all on at once. You can see I've got a small, smaller pinch here. We're just going to put that on, create a nice tight dubbing rope with that. We'll continue doing that all the way down with that dubbing this is a great guide fly because it's a pretty quick tie very very durable and absolutely deadly so now we're just going to wrap a thorax here but we don't want to work this thorax really up into that hook eye I'm going to leave this thorax really right there over the top of that that wire you can see there's strands there. I'm just going to take and kind of pull those off rearward. I like that buggy look there. Okay. Now I'm going to take a feather out of a whiting hen saddle. Okay. I'm going to be using black for this pattern. So here, here I just pulled the feather out. What I'm going to do with that feather is I'm going to pull all of the hackle off of the one side of the stem so when I wrap mine I'm going to be wrapping it this way so I want that hackle on that side of the fly off so that it lays nice and neat against the hook shank now I'm just going to take and kind of pull those down so I have a tie-in point so you can see my tie-in point there take my tie-in point and I'm going to place it on the side of the hook we'll wrap it in two wraps I'm going to pull that point rearward now you can see it's standing up there now I'll trim it out I'm going to take 
that hackle stem at the same time I'll trim that out just a little bit okay <clears throat> got a little bit more of that tie-in point there okay now stand that up that one's just eluding me today there we go I'm gonna take my tie flies tweezers I'm gonna grab that hackle stem with my tweezers now I'm just gonna wrap I like the tie fly tweezers because it grips really really good it's not a heavy hackle plier so it allows me to really work this a little bit better without pulling on too much pressure I'm going to utilize this hackle stem as I'm wrapping I'm going to be pulling those hackle fibers rearward and palmering those fibers backwards and this is going to give me a great soft tackle without having to clean up all at the end so I'll wrap that several times I want to make sure I don't crowd the eye of this hook And each time I'm wrapping, I'm just kind of preening those fibers rearward. I don't want to catch any fibers as I'm coming around the top either. Where I do strip the side of the hackle, I get more wraps out of mine than if you didn't. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to secure that in trying not to capture any of those hackle fibers okay so I've secured that down I'm gonna release my pliers and I'm gonna pull all of that rearward okay now I'm gonna take trim that stem out we'll pull those fibers back again we're just going to build a nice little head of thread and that's what's nice about this 12 watt is it doesn't build up really fast now I'll take my whip finish tool give it a good couple whips one two three Okay, I use this fluorescent orange so that I have a hot spot head. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of Solarez glue. This is the thin hard. I'm just going to put a little dap of that glue there. I'm going to take my bodkin. treat this over the rest of that thread you can apply that to your bodkin before you put it on the thread whichever way you want to do it this is going to help secure that knot and just give me a nice bright head so here I'll take my UV pin <clears throat> now that we have that UV now that we have that UV glue on there we'll take our UV pin and just cure it up this is going to give us a nice little glow to this And there you have 
a wire bodied caddis. Okay, and now that we've got that UV glue on there, we're going to take and cure that with our UV pen. We'll just cure it up real quick. Okay, and there you have 